now we are taking up another topic where we are discussing that animals they perform three types of actions first is reflex action second one is involuntary action and the third one is voluntary action this reflex action is always a sudden and quick response involuntary where the actions are performed without will without our will and voluntary where the actions are performed with your will okay taking up the first topic reflex actions what do we mean by a reflex action it is basically spontaneous automatic mechanical response to a stimuli acting on a specific receptor without the will of an animal so what is mainly important here spontaneous auto automatic and sudden reaction which occurs without the will of an organism so these occur without informing us why is it so why these take uh, a spontaneous and sudden reaction why is it not involving the thinking process of a human being a very good question but there is a very simple answer to this we say that whenever we think supposingly we are think and we are sending the nerves across which are going for the thinking process where do they have to go this create impulse now first this impulse will a uh, complicated activity will go to neurons these neurons will automatically take it to the central nervous system that is where the brain lies then brain it is in the skull it involves all the nerves all around which are coming from the various parts of the body automatically these are also involved in this process and then brain is instructing our muscles to move then these nerves will carry the signals back fine if this much is going to happen meanwhile this sudden response will not remain sudden the spontaneous thing has gone it has lost its charm why because if i'm touching a hot object an impulse is taking so much time sending messages to neurons and neurons are taking it to the brain and brain is collectively inviting all the nerves to act upon it and then sending the message back to the muscles now leave the glass it's a hot object or it's leave the object it's a hot one by the time i'll burn my hand all right so it is a time consuming process it's not that we never ever take brain into this entire activity brain is involved it's not that we have a shorter memory loss that we touch a hot object and we forget because brain is not involved no it's even not like that brain knows about the entire activity which is taking place but brain does not participate in it only the nearest controlling center of all the nerves where all of them are collecting that becomes the coordinating center means if all the nerves from all the areas are collecting first at the spinal cord then message will be reaching through the sensory nerves and will be taken away by the motor nerves for the quick action without involving the brain and the set of all the nerves which are in the peripheral area so that the quick delivery of message will take place and a remedial action will be taken in time that is why we call these actions reflex actions and that is why 
we do not involve brain in all these actions brain knows everything the entire information is provided but brain will not participate in deciding the action that will be taken up by spinal cord clear now moving to how this problem is solved and how will it take place we see we have a set of receptors now the stimuli that is being received can be a hot object can be a bright light this stimulus is always received by the receptor muscles receptors where are the receptors present receptor muscles are always present in the skin area that means your body how is it going to pick it up then it goes via i'm first drawing the flow chart for your reference sensory neuron the nerve which is taking the message is the sensory neuron the nerve which will bring it back is the motor neuron and the one which is going to connect sensory to motor is the relay we always play a relay race game what do we do there we connect to each other with the help of a small object that we have to pass that is relay race connector race same way we have relay neurons here which are going to connect sensory to motor neuron so sensory will take it to the spinal cord over there the relay neurons are present which are going to convert the message then the message moves back to from here also message will be sent to brain so that brain is intimated about what all is happening then motor neurons will bring it back where to the effector muscle these effector muscles can be the tissues or the muscles in arm because if we are touching a hot object then receptors in skin of hand will be the receptor and tissues or muscles in arm will be the effector because then only we can pull back the arm from the given set of condition and this is how we protect ourselves from burning with the help of a simple reflex action mechanism and the path taken by the nerve impulse in a reflex action is called arc this is an action and the path traveled by this nerve is known as reflex arc now which path are we talking about this is a simple diagram showing how this action will take place if i say these are my receptor muscles these are receiving an impulse through sensory neuron and is reaching the spinal cord where this connector is present this body like connector is present this connector will connect the message and send it via motor impulse or the motor neuron motor nerve to the effector muscles clear receptor can be in the skin effector can be the tissues the muscles of the arm this is the sensory neuron which is taking the message this is the set of spinal cord from here message will be sent to brain intimating the information whatever is happening happening this is relay neuron this is the motor neuron and this i have already written the effector muscles which are going to take up the entire activity the where the impulse now what has reached here from outside impulse or uh, that stimuli this stimuli has generated this impulse what can be this stimuli stimuli can be hot object stimuli can be a pen which is pricking your hand stimuli can be a bright light which is entering your eye that all are stimuli stimuli can be internal can be external all right and this is how the message travels and this pathway is known as reflex arc kya bolte hain hum isko reflex arc because it's a pathway that has been traveled by the impulse and action means the action which is taken in this pathway all right clear